Well, it's a really tough day today, but um, Boomer and I are going to say goodbye to a friend of ours that's been with us for a very, very long time. It's a sad one. It's a very, very sad one. But uh, as always, you guys, like, comment, subscribe, pluck that dingle belly, and we'll be back in just a minute right after the intro. Skeeter, you can't go with the beetle. No, the beetle's gone. We sold the beetle today. Yeah, I'm sorry. You can't keep it. Come here. You can't go with the beetle, no. Well, in case you haven't already caught on, yep, the white beetle is sold. Um, Skeeter's still with us. <laughs> it's not Skeeter, but Skeeter is uh, Skeeter's a little upset that her car is going away. That was something that I had built for us to go cruising around in a number of years ago. Um, kind of interesting story, I bought her from a hippie over in Freeport, Florida over here who was moving to California. Really, really nice guy. Really nice guy. I also got a 78 bus from him, but that was another story. But I went over and looked at this car and it was in a much worse shape than what he had said it was, but it was a swimming pool when I got it. It was actually full of water on the inside. And when I made him an offer on it, after everything was said and done, he looked me square in the eye and he said, now why would you buy a beetle that's so full of water? And I looked him right back square in the eye and I said, because that means there's no holes in the floor. <laughs> and he went, oh. Yeah, so it didn't have a whole lot of rust in the floor. Typical little under the battery. Some of the leaves and other debris had packed themselves over the holes in there. So it needed some very, very minor repairs back there and a little bit up underneath the... Uh, driver's side uh, area underneath the controls. Again, another popular place for it to rust due to the brake line cracking and eating the paint. Anyway, <laughs> yes, the white beetle is going. Once again, something that I built for Skeeter and I. Eleanor came into our lives um, around the same time that I was working on this, so of course my mind shift focus onto a different project. So um, what you're going to see today is you're going to see a little progress of me getting this car loaded up and headed off to its new owner's home, who is Gabriel, or Gabriel. He's a, a friend of ours from the uh, local Rare Air Volkswagen Club. And he and I were talking about this car about a week ago. He was telling me he wished he could find a white Beetle that was for sale. It had an earlier style dashboard on it and stuff. And I said, now wait a minute. Why don't you come look at what I got here? So he came over here a couple hours ago and uh, we worked out a deal. So anyway, we're loading it up, once again using the 350Z as the tow truck, and uh, we're going to go deliver a Beetle today to a new owner. And I'm uh, both sad and happy at the same time. You know how it is. This is a car, like I said, I built for me, but at the same time, it's been in my way, and I need space to work on Gregory. And you see that open shed that we got back there right now? That's going to be Gregory's new home. So that's where Gregory's going to go while we get him rebuilt. I figure it's easier working on him in the backyard as opposed to the front yard. But that's another story. I'm just tired of people coming down the street and stopping wanting to talk to me when I'm in the middle of a project, you know, when I have a rhythm flowing and people want to know who the duck man is. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, start getting this beetle out of here. Appreciate it, you guys. On a related note I thought I would share, check it out, the turn signals are working again. I don't believe it myself, but it turned out it was actually just a damaged fuse. I had nothing to do with the wiring. However, while I was toying around with the wiring up underneath the dashboard, I uh, thought that the problem was, you know, a blown fuse or some kind of damaged wire or something, and actually it wasn't that at all. I just touched the fuse down below and all of a sudden it started working, and the fuse just kind of crumbled apart in my hand, so I put a new one in and it solved the problem. Also, the horn started working again. Once again, no explanation other than going to a new home, so I hope he's happy. Everything on this car works. There is not a damn thing on this car that doesn't work. Let's go ahead and get him fired up, and we'll get him out front with a tow bar underneath him.
All right, and so we begin the journey. Good old white boy is back there behind me, pulling him off to uh, Gabriel's house. Trying to go after rush hour traffic, but before it gets dark. So I think we're gonna make some pretty good time. It takes about, oh, 25 minutes to get over there. Since I'm gonna be driving and not pushing it too hard, I wouldn't be surprised if it takes a little longer than that. Anyways, I've got you guys attached to my roof. <laughs> so you should be able to watch the car from in the back. And hopefully the camera didn't fall off. I'm looking out in the mirror and I don't see it. So maybe I'm going to stop in just a second and have a good look. <laughs> And the 350Z does it again. There it is, pulling old white boy behind Big Blue. <laughs> we made it. And here's the new owner. What do you think? 350 did it again. 350 did, 350 it, again. did it again. Now you gotta get one. Right? That's it. You can't yeah, buy that wait. today though. I gotta I'm, get home somehow. I'm not getting the blue one then? That's what you're telling me? Yeah, yeah, they don't come as a package deal. Oh, I saw them attached, so... We know. need a few more pesos on there, you know. Okay, that's good, that's good. <laughs> a few more pesos. A few more pesos and you can have them both. It was like the Happy Meal and the toy. You know? Yeah, the Happy Meal and the toy. <laughs> the meat and the potatoes right nice. there. <laughs> well, White Boy is filthy, absolutely filthy from sitting in the shed with a cover on him. Which, by the way, the cover is in the car. It comes with him. So you get a cover in there, a nice bonus. You get a whole bunch of extra stuff too, which is under the hood. You might want to open up and have a look oh, in the box that's in there. Good. You, got you got goodies. It's some simple stuff that I know that the car needs that I never put on, so... I'm going to leave the keys to the 350. <laughs> the keys to the 350 is here and there. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's it. <laughs> yep, you got a spare wheel. I wanted to make sure you had a five lugger that worked for here. Right here. That's it. Can see it. Everybody can see it. Some simple stuff. There's some more stuff I got for you too. Paperwork. Important paperwork. paperwork. That's right more important than anything else right. that's in there. <laughs> some Those are the decals that go on the seatbelt buckles. Okay. Those are worn off in there. I had an extra set and I was going to put them on. Never did. You got them. There you go. Handles for the doors. Brand new armrests. You didn't even notice they weren't installed. I didn't want to drill holes in the new panels, so I've been <laughs> holding off I on feel. it. That's how yeah. I feel. So, <laughs> so I want to make I sure you had them. <laughs> and then there's the wipers, which everybody always asks about, but I don't usually put them on my Volkswagens because I don't drive them in the rain. <laughs> Something about rain and Volkswagen that they don't get along. That's it. I just don't like them leaking. You know, once they right. leak, they rust. If you don't let them leak, they don't rust. <laughs> Well, he made it over here just fine. I drove him up and down the street a couple times. I had to say goodbye, so I played with him a little bit tonight. <laughs> Everything on there seems to be good. Uh, the shifter is a little wonky. You might have to make an adjustment on it, loosen the bolts, and slide it back and forth. If you have a problem with it, let me know. I'll buy you a new shifter. That's on me, because I told you it was good, so it's going to be good. I'm not going to sell you a car that's junk. And um, 
the brakes might need to be bled. They've been sitting for a couple years, so they might have some bubbles in them or something. But they, they felt like they worked, but they were a little squishy. But nothing was leaking out, so it's good. The reservoir was still full. That's it. She has some sand interior, so. Oh, I think the cover's in there. Yeah, it's on the floor. I thought it was on the seat, but... <laughs> Keys are in the ignition. Yeah, he's really, really nice. The um, battery is disconnected, by the way, because when he turned the key on in there, I didn't want to have it try to start up or something if it were to pop into gear for some reason. <laughs> that happened to a friend of mine, but luckily it popped into gear and back out. Oh so it started, but it was just idling as he's driving down the road. And he didn't know because he was in a big truck, so he didn't even hear it. The people are like beeping and waving, and oh <laughs> it's <God>. running. <laughs> Apparently it was making a huge cloud of smoke too, but yeah, I thought that was a pretty funny story. That's it. All the seals on this thing are perfect. You'll notice that when you close the door, it'll bounce back open because of the air pressure. So if you roll the window down just an inch. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, built that one for me. That's why everything on it is primo. <laughs> cool. Cool. Awesome. That's it. That's it. Check it out. There you go. Well, thank you guys for watching the video. See you guys later. A couple things you forgot to say. Who are you? What's oh, your YouTube yes, channel? By the way, come check out. Uh, we're on Bocho Wagons on YouTube also. We're going to be doing some videos here coming up. But we're going to be doing them in Spanish or Spanglish, just for Spanglish. some of you guys. So, VochoWagons.com or YouTube.com. You know, YouTube.com, search for Vocho Wagons. Yeah. Okay, so it's kind of like what you see on Duckman Cycles, but it'll be with uh, a little Spanish language stuff. Correct. That'll be great for a lot of my fans who speak Spanish. I'll send them over there for sure. Yeah. It's so great that this car is still going to stay here at home. Yeah, it's going to be here for a while. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> If you do sell it, you let me know. I want a first tabs, you know, first dibs on it. Sounds good. Sounds good. I mean, I don't need another car, but <laughs> rather than letting it go, well, he's gonna let one go. <laughs> me, I just have too many. I had about 13 at one point. <laughs> this is the button for the invisibility. Disability button? The invisibility button. You know? Oh well, um, it's white. <laughs> just push it north of Nine Mile Road. Oh wait, that's where we are. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. awesome. I can't wait to start driving it well, Let's go ahead and pop those pins out and get it off the hitch. And we'll get you unhooked here. Is that TSA approved? TSA? <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't try to get on an airplane with a tow bar for folks. <laughs> it won't fit in your overhead. Came off real easy with no yeah. pressure on it. Yeah, that pin's on the back, this one's on the front. I don't know why I did that, but I did. And then what is it down? Try to push down, yeah. but the car is a little low, so I like to lift it up just a little bit. Yeah, if you do put a tow bar on, he's got to lift it just a little bit to make well, you know how to drive it, right? Oh, yeah. But the battery's not on, right? Um, well, no, it's not, but you can plug it in. Yeah. If you find that you need to do an ignition switch, too, let me know. I'll buy a new one of that, too. Just want to make sure you get everything right on this car. I don't sell junk. Anybody that's watching, I don't sell junk. That is so awesome. It's nice seeing somebody else drive it too. 
I've never seen anybody drive it. It's always been me. <laughs> that is low. I didn't realize how low it is. <laughs> it looks great. Awesome. Made it just fine. <laughs> Did you stall it on your first trip? Right. <laughs> what happened? Uh, I was trying to go from the reverse into first gear, and it kept on popping out. Popped out, or did you just miss it? No, it popped out on first gear. I shouldn't do that. Yeah, so I was like. So Usually, I just. It. It's sometimes hard to find well all the yeah, gears after because. While I was getting used to first that's what it was doing today. I probably didn't push it in all the way. And it that's probably out. it. Yeah. <laughs> but you understand how the trigger works, yeah, okay? I wasn't sure. I never told you, so. No, I've, I've driven like that before. Okay, you know. Uh, reverses up and then, but I Got was it. getting it at the beginning. I was like. <laughs> but make sure you get some fresh gas in there. There's, there's about a gallon or two in there right now. Okay. On top of whatever was in there that was older, but it wasn't much. It was almost none at all. But it should be okay. I would just uh, make sure you bleed the brakes. This is stuff I would have done for you if I had a little more time, but I didn't get to it. If you need help, of course, I'll help you. Or hell, tech session will be in a few yeah, more yeah. weeks, so. Tech session. That's it. What is it for? <laughs> but just go over it one more time. But you'll like it. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's yeah. a hybrid. It's new and old stuff. It gives you what you're looking for. I already, I already had fun on my first trip. <laughs> he stalled it. <laughs> I, got like, I got like 10 full numbers on this little trip. There you go. That's it. Just like that. I mean. Uh-oh. <laughs> from, 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 from guys. Guy, ew. <laughs> That's not better, right? <laughs> that's what it needs is a good bath and just give it a once over. I think you'll be fine. And of course, that's what tech session's for. And if you get stuck with anything else, you let me know. Thank you, Senor Pato. You bet. <laughs> Senor Pato, thank you. All the viewers, thank you. Follow Bocho Wagons, follow Dogman Cycles. See you guys. Licky, likey, comment, subscribe. Pluck the dingle belly so you get updates. And we'll see you guys next time.